Hello, how you guys doing? I hope you saw my part one and two of this series of Knives, Knives Galore, okay? So, in this, um, this episode, I want to show you something, and I'm going to show you a particular knife, right? Of course. So, bear with me for a second. I want to illustrate this video, like, here's a top cell jet day, right? If you don't have the budget for this, I, I personally would recommend you to get this this is the k bar cutlass okay i freaking love this knife this is one of the best handles i've ever felt in my life i don't think i need a lanyard at all but i forgot to address regarding the k bar combat kukri which was part two of this series i forgot that in my whatever level of expertise these kukri shapes they feather stick great I, I mean, freaking, that's why I got this as my ultimate feather sticky knife. This is uh, the Cold Steel Spartan. This is the cheaper version. It's thinner. I think it's easier to sharpen or something. I never I never uh, handled the one that's more expensive. So I forgot to, I failed to mention about this K-Bar Combat Kukri, that when it is sharp, even though it's not as sharp as it was, especially with this edge which is easier for me to sharpen for some reason uh the the very start of the edge and it ha does it doesn't have a choil but the blade there's the blade uh goes to this like crease or line here it's technically like a choil and you can choke up on it it makes great feather sticks man really good feather sticks but back to the knife at hand k-bar cutlass i first noticed this knife on the joe x channel where he tried to break it and it passed the test the handle did get a little bit loose it passed the test i'm talking really fast i don't have a lot of time i'm on, i'm kind of on my breakout work or else i would do this all in one shot all these blades this is decently thick this is a lot lighter than that el chete that big old cleaver that i just showed you You'll never have to worry about changing the handle or, or tightening the handle because you can't. It's just the K-Bar handle, but the con, these are more stick tang. These are not full thin tangs like a blade that you can see that this has, okay? So, but these kind of blades, if they if you hit something really hard or something, you might have to retighten it i never had that problem even though i still lock tight some of those but when joe x tried to break this blade all happened was this got kind of loose i beat the holy crap out of the regular k bar kukri that i don't have with me anymore i and i have a short on it where i, I chopped down this big old branch it did eventually get kind of loose from batoning some ridiculously tough wood and it's still, even though it was flimsy and floppy, it still wouldn't get any worse after that. I really like this blade because of the weight. It has, to me, it, it's easy to sharpen. It's a very, very low saber grind, meaning like it's not going to get as sharp as a full flat grind or a hollow grind, which is one of the knives I will show later, probably the next K-Bar. If you're into a budget chopper and you need a big blade that has plenty of space to baton, this is a total length of 16 and a half inches. It is not super thick. It does have a lot of material behind it. It is decently, it's a lot easier for me to sharpen than the K-Bar Combat Kukri. And I really enjoy getting uses out of this blade. The blade stops here. You have about an inch or so of where uh, probably more than that non-blade non-blade i call it non-blade so it does work as a makeshift choil i have been able to feather stick decently out of this but not as good as some other blades this is more of a chopper i would feel safe with this having it on my person walking around wild animals or feral meth heads the only drawback to me about this knife the only drawback to in my opinion is i'm trying to find the sheath the sheath would make this knife slow to deploy and it's not a deal breaker for me if i was on a budget and i can only have one of these knives i would probably this is my like number second pick out of like i have almost 10 blades here okay so i like to carry it across like this okay or or like this which is a little bit more like ergonomically better suited to take out uh you know to 
to unsheath it, but it does have three points of contact or whatever that you're gonna have to undo before you come out. And, and another thing about these blades for self-defense or whatever, these aren't, I used to have a condor buoy. This is not like a, a nimble slicer. This is a boom, like almost a hatchet. This is like a hatchet that can also, that can also but baton, baton wood. So uh, I'm kind of moving fast. I'm at I'm at work. I got things to do. So I appreciate you helping me review my own blades. I'm gonna pawn some of these off. I wish I could sell it to you guys for cheap. I don't have the the wherewithal to get these to you and back at the transaction. But this video is uh, especially for people just getting into knives. And uh, I've been exploring knives a lot this year. And this year's almost over it's kind of a long time but for the budget this was like under about give or take a hundred dollars at an army surplus store okay again it's stick tain if you beat the shit out of this hitting really really hard material or something it might get a little bit loose but i don't feel like these will fail you this handle feels great this is not coming out of my hand i don't need a lanyard whatsoever uh the el chete is a lot more powerful i'll show you the el chete later stay tuned but this one is so much more lighter, man. I really feel like this is more nimble. I like the handle a lot more than uh, this uh, the other huge chopper that I'm gonna show you. And again, guys, so if you're looking in the market to get a decent, reliable chopper, this is 1095 steel. You can look up the pros and cons of 1095 steel. It's This has been good to me. I have been able to sharpen it. It did the paint or the, the paint, the, um, I forget what this black coating's called. It did come off the first time I used it. Hasn't gotten any worse. And I really do like this blade and this handle to me is a godsend. So stay tuned. I got some more blades to show and uh, rock and roll. Keep on rocking in the free world.